Hello crafty friends! My name is Alicia but you can call me Crafty Owl and welcome to my stop on the Oh So Inspired Collaboration Hop for February 2023. I hope you'll stick around, see what's inspiring us this month, see what I'm going to make and find out how you can hop along to the other collaborators videos. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. I'm super excited to be back today with another video for the Oh So Inspired collaboration. There are a group of us who will be sharing their takes on the same inspiration piece today. Now you can get to the team's videos by clicking on the hashtag in the title, but if that is not working in the description box, I will have a link to a playlist. I will get those videos added ASAP and then you can find them all there. We're crossing our fingers though that that hashtag's gonna work. Up on screen now is a look at this month's inspiration piece. It is a birthday card made by Laura Basson, who is at Laura Fedora on Instagram. I will have some links to the original piece in that description box below, so make sure to stop by the post and leave her some love. Now, if you want to play along and share a creation that you were inspired to make by Laura's card, make sure to check out the description box below. I have a special hashtag for you to use if you share a video here on YouTube or a post over on Instagram. For myself, what stood out to me were those big bold letters in kind of that rainbow of colors and then that little gold coordinating sentiment. I did decide today though, I'm just going to go with a Hello Friend theme and I will be making a mini slimline card. Instead of colored cardstock, I will be doing some ink blending and we might just add a few fun touches along the way. As I get into my process, I will tell you about other tools or products I use, but as always, if I ever leave you with any questions, feel free to leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty! I'm going to get started today by doing my rainbow of ink blending. I will list the individual colors in the description box below if you are interested. When I do rainbows like this, I like to start in the center of the cardstock with the center colors. That way I can kind of space it out better how much color will go on there. And at the ends then I don't have like a lot of one color and not any of another. Once I laid a new color down, I would come in with the previous brush and kind of blend together where the two met. It just helps with the transition. And I just kept blending using clockwise and counterclockwise motions until the entire piece was covered. And here is a look at that. I just love a rainbow. Before I put my blending brushes away, I brought in my card base, which is six and a quarter by three and a quarter when folded, and I am going to clean off my brushes on the inside bottom. Not only does this help get some more of the ink off the brushes, but it adds a little bit of extra color to the inside of the card. Now I'm going to do some die cutting. I brought in my Cat Scrappiness Uppercase Condensed Alphabet Set and I will be die cutting the word friend from my rainbow piece. Then I got this Hello die from my stash that I will be cutting a couple times from white cardstock and once out of the gold cardstock. While I was off camera doing the die cutting, I cut another piece of white cardstock to six and a quarter by three and a quarter and ran that through with my dots embossing folder. Now I want a little bit of the rainbow to be seen at the bottom of this, so I tore off about a quarter of an inch. To make the little hello die cut a little more sturdy, I had cut the three copies. So using my art glitter glue in the fine tip bottle, I adhered those three layers together. I set a stamp block on the top of those and set them aside to dry while I continued working on the card. 
for some dimension on the card, I will be adding the die cut word friend with foam tape. For this, I got out my big blue roll in the quarter inch width and I added some strips to the back. This is the perfect width for these letters and I like just the little bit of lift it gives. I brought back in my art glitter glue and I will be adding my torn piece to the front of the ink blended piece, making sure to align the top edges. This way I have just a little bit of that rainbow peeking out at the bottom. Then I added these two layers to the card front, trying to get a nice white even border all the way around. I did forget to mention earlier, I did cut that background piece down to three by six. Next came the more tedious part of the card, but even I would make this one again, and that's going to be getting the word friend onto the card front as straight across as possible and as evenly spaced. To help with this, I brought in my T ruler and I lined up the bottom edge of each letter with the ruler, and then I fiddled with it a little bit to try to get even spacing all the way across. When I thought everything looked good, I removed the release paper from the back of the F and the D and got those two in place first. Then I went and pulled the release paper on the other letters, just trying to keep that same spacing between each one. Once my friend was in place, I brought in the little gold hello and got that added to the front as well. I added this with a little liquid glue and I did set it under the block for about five minutes to dry. And then when it was dry off screen, I added five gold gems to the front. And here are some close up looks at the finished card. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I was inspired to create today's card. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Now don't forget to go visit the rest of the team's videos by either clicking on that hashtag in the title or the playlist link in the description box. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.